video I'm going to show you how to create a backend server using Bond. Uh, Bond is a new tool to create an environment for back for JavaScript and TypeScript projects where we can uh, execute JavaScript and TypeScript. That you see we have uh, a little difference among the Bond server and Dino server, Node.js server. Another kind of difference with WebSocket, we have to install the dependency for Bond to execute Bond on our computer. For this, we have to uh, have a Mac or Linux computer like a Windows subsystem or a Unix-based computer. Okay, we have to execute this command, copy the command then paste in the terminal and wait for the download we going to i'm going to stop this code because i i have uh, already installed the dependency i'm going to to open visual studio code to to see all my on my environment okay you have to check if you have the bond install to to know if bond is installed you have to execute just bond version okay we have the the last version for bond then we have to uh, create the project we have to execute the project for or any the project in this case in this case we are going to navigate to documents projects then uh, make a new dir bond backend ts we have to type bond in it um, then we have to type the name of the project in my case is okay uh bond backend the index of this at this moment will be okay the entry point and just wait for for the creation of the the package json okay we have the different file for the project i'm going to init github git okay i'm going to init git and we have already in it git for the project then to open the project on on the visual studio code we have the project on the visual studio code and the git uh, already in it then we have to create the server the source directory for the project then create a new a new folder named classes and in the source directory create a new file named index.ts and in the classes we're going to create a, a new file named server.ts and here we have to export a new class server like something like this uh okay we have to install the dependencies for the project before start the before start coding first we have to install uh slint open the terminal and type bond e uh slint slint uh dash d capital d okay we have already installed the slint this is a uh, uh tools to verify the code to verify the the quality of the code and the specific uh a kind of recommendation for make a, a better code then we have to execute bond slint uh, dash dash init and we have the setup for for the tools and here we have to choose the second options to check the syntax and find problems then use the javascript modules to with uh, import and export we are not using any uh, front-end framework choose none of this then we have to use typescript type yes and uh, go to node uh, press the press space and then press space on the browser to select just note in these options then click enter and here we have to choose the json format for the for save the configuration and install all the dependencies typing yes with uh, in this case with npm is okay we have to have installed the the node environment with with the with bond okay we have a new a new file where we have the configuration the rules the recommendations for the for the code for the 
code format is okay for the moment and then we have to install the dependencies for the uh, the project in specific first we have to install uh in this case express we have to install express the, for this to do this we have to type bond e uh express then we have to install a uh, body parser course json web token in this case will be nice just installing these dependencies click enter and wait for the download then we have to install the uh the types for for the dependencies click types dash slash express at type slash body parser and for the course okay oh okay sorry i here i, I make a uh, mistake we have to uh type dash capital d because all of that dependencies are for are for uh the, the development process and okay for the body parser is not required install the body the types just for course and express for the moment okay we have the project the dependency are already installed here uh types course express types core express is okay then we have to go to the classes and server here we're gonna create a the structure for for the server first we have to the de, uh declare the a private a private uh attribute like uh as a static static instance this will be a type server from uh server this will be the same like like this okay. will be the same then we have to uh to declare a new a new attribute uh, this will be app will be that will be type express from express and okay in this in this case will be the type application from express something like this and um, we i get in some project some errors we have to type here uh exclamation symbol then we have to declare the port the port will be a public the port uh will be uh 5000 by default then we have to uh create a new attribute this will be the http server it will be public this will be a type server from uh in this case from http or server server okay, we are getting some errors you just type http have to import http from http it's okay this will be type uh http dot server something like this type the exclamation symbol and then on the constructor we have to uh assign the the values for for the code mm, for the variables or the it will be type number sorry okay type the exclamation symbol then on the constructor we have to uh assign the values the port will be the 5000 the app will be uh equals to express express you have to import express from express is something like this and i'm getting some projects some errors or this app registration by the following record we have to fix just doing something like this uh yeah. okay okay well, that's a kind of error by the visual studio code is not needed to assign the the value the type like like this just just like this is okay then for express we have to uh assign the value for http server equals to new http server dot server sorry something like this and we have to 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 pass the the express application 
this up. Okay, here it's okay. Then we have to create a new a new uh, getter using uh, a new instant getters like this public static um, get instance. This will be we have to return the this uh, dot instance or uh, assign the value or return the value. This instance equals to new uh, server. This this to handle as a single uh, instance of the of the class. Then we have to start the project or, or the server using a new method. This will be a public uh, a static method. This now will be a kind of a, a static method. Just uh, use type public state start by something like this. Then we have to type this HTTP server listen uh, to the to have to pass the port. Then uh, a callback and here we have to type by something like. I'm getting some errors. We have to type it like something like this. Listen in the port. Uh, okay, we have already uh, created the, the the server class. Then we have to import the class on the on the index. On the index, uh, we have to remove this index in the root directory. Will will we not? Uh, use remove then uh, change the module with for source slash index ts here in the index ts we have to create a new constant it will be server type server from class class server this will be a new Sorry, it will be a server uh, instance, and here I uh, have to type server start. Okay, mm, we have to start the the project. Just just type in bond source index ts. Okay, mm, here I get in some projects on errors. I uh, have to have a, pro a problem because I'm using the, the port. I'm gonna try again. Here we have the the project uh, running on the port 500, 5000, sorry. Um, but we have to create uh, some routes for the project. To do this, we have to create a new, a new folder named routers or routes. Uh, create a, an index index ds here we have to import to create a new app using a uh, express then we have to create a new router const uh, router type router from express sorry <laughs> just, just like this it's okay then we have to create the the route for the project route get the route directory we have to pass uh, a kind of argument the request and the response uh, this will be a type request from the express and here we have to type just something like uh, request uh, status to thousand and JSON uh, message hello world by something like this and then we have already uh, created the route for the route the route for the root directory then we have to uh, use this this route with express type up use um, pass the routes okay this is okay for the moment and export as the file uh, app is something like this then on the index we have to import the the route from route three 
from roads and before start the project type up use and and and, and sorry <laughs> i have to import the the app or create the variable for app uh, have to just type app equals to express then you have the declaration and the routes already created to test this we have to go uh, with postman use postman in my case create a new request and type uh, just localhost dot just type localhost and do the request with uh, the type get with the type get then we have the uh, kind of error maybe you have to refresh the server try it again and uh, getting some errors okay uh, I have a problem here on the index because you have to use the the server app from from the class by something like this yeah I get confused sorry have to fix this because we are using the the app from the server from the instance to to get the to get the value and the request okay we have to try again refresh the refresh the server and um, we are getting a uh, hello world nice then we have to enable course just type in server uh, app use and have to import course from course and here pass a new object with origins uh, true and credentials true this is to enable the to enable course and allow out the the clients okay we have already created the project for the backend server just as a simple backend server using bond and TypeScript and for the moment will be okay in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, install a database how to use a database with with Prisma um, and MongoDB okay we have to install another dependency but for the moment will be okay thank you for watching this video and I see you in the next one thank you